Hello Gundam fans and welcome back to another episode of Mobile Suit Gundam C. This is going to be episode 25. Endless Rondo. Who's Rondo? Anyway though, it looks like our squad with Arthron has joined the shores and is sneaking them onto the island. I guess we'll see what happens with that. Also, Kidda's in a situation where they want to use him and the strikes data. In return for the safety and the... What do you call... The ability to repair the Archangel. So I guess we'll find out. Also, Kiggity is not so tomboy. She, 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 she hates it. She hates being in a dress. And, of course, Flaw's being very jealous. Super jealous. Anyway, though, let's go ahead and get into this one. And before we do, hit if you haven't, hit that like, subscribe, and, of course, leave a comment. Answer any questions I may have, anything that I may say throughout the video. It'll definitely show your support, show that you're actually listening and watching and... Sharing the love. Anyway, though, let's do it. What is Arthur going to do? He's like the only one that knows a lot of this other random details. Oh, we got a new opening. As much as I want to listen to it, I'll do it off camera so I don't get copyrighted for music. At least. Trying to avoid one less thing for copyrights, I'm sorry. Oh, and we got the freedom. And if you look behind me, I'm building an EX Freedom Strike, because I built every other Freedom Strike except this one. But I need to get a, a Master Grade of the Freedom, because I have every other version of the Freedom as well, just not a Master Grade. All right, who's this guy? And who who are they? So are they going to upgrade it? Is that how we're going to get the freedom? Or is this going to be one of those flashbacky episodes? I have a feeling it's going to be a flashbacky episode. Yeah, I take it this is going to be one of those flashbacky episodes. Let me fast forward a little bit, mostly through the episode, so this might be a part, like first half of a video. Okay, there we go. Let's see if there's anything new here. Okay, maybe we're moving forward with some stuff here, because all that was was her talking about the actual suit and then showing flashbacks. The strike's parents, interesting. Oh. Oh, okay. There's an astray. Yeah, that looks like an astray. Those all look like astrays. Okay, so astray's like a uh, multi produced suit. Again, that was my second mobile suit I bet was the Red Astray. So Kegity's still upset about that and thinking that her dad betrayed everybody. I get it. I get what's happening there. How does she act? Oh, they called her a fool. Come on. Don't do that to her. A lot of astrays. Well, 
Well, I guess they just have don't ha don't have the hang of piloting those things. All right, so they're trying to use the data from the strike to make them more efficient because they're not able to move correctly. All right, so that was a bit of a short episode, so I'm going to probably tag this along with another one. So there's not much there, but we did get the reddish trays there, so there's three of them. Are they going to be attached to the Archangel? Where are they going? What are they going to do with them? I guess we'll find out. I don't really know. Hello, Gundam fans. This is going to be part two of a episode, but this is going to be still episode 26, phase 26, Kira. So, and the last one was mostly flashbacks. I'm not going to talk too much about it, but it was flashbacks, so you're going to see that in this video. So we got introduced to the Astrays. So let's see what happens with those Astrays. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this one. It wouldn't be a part two. It'd be a, a continuation of the episode. So hopefully there's not too much flashbackiness in here. Because that drives me insane when there's flashbacks. It really does. I, I guess it's like post-traumatic stress order with like One Piece. Where One Piece does that shit literally every time when it's not needed. Like, if you watch my recent One Piece reaction, there's literally the last episode we had a flashback of a scene that happened not even five episodes before that. And it took three minutes of the actual episode. So it's like PTSD at this point. Interesting. I guess Flaw's going to be jealous again because her dad's kind of expired at this point. Yeah, yeah, she has that look of, fuck you. Pretty much. Like, go go F yourself, Miss Captain Lady. Are they related? Is there something wrong with Kata? They're making her sound less tough now, like less tomboyish. I don't know, I guess because everybody found out she's a princess and now she doesn't have to act so tough, I guess. So it's getting a massive... I think that's what's good. It's going to make the freedom. They're going to build the freedom out of it, pretty much. Wow, there's quite a bit of them. There's more than the three that they show. There's like four of them in there, four or five of them. Oh, the reunion between parents. Poor flaw. I can't really say poor flaw, but it's kind of sad. And who are these folks? Oh, his parents. Birdie's a little adorable, but kind of creepy at the same time. Wow, we're getting a lot of more story elements in this episode. Like, more things are being, like, brought into the mix. Be crazy, okay? Lots of flashbackies, but let's see what happens with it. That's not an entire scene, it's just like little moments. Damn, hard breakup. Damn, hard breakup, let's go. Oh. Oh, his sibling. Who's his sibling? Oh, 
So he pretty much reprogrammed it to where everybody can play it, can, can pilot it. His parents, he's having, having lots of regrets about his parents. <sighs> That's a lot of regret for him. He doesn't want to meet him because he doesn't think they're going to think of him as the same person. I get it. I understand now. It senses someone there. Is Arthur in somewhere? Okay, birdie. Oh, don't tell Yazak. Or, yeah, Yazak? That's, that's the pilot. I get it, they're not going to say anything because they're going to keep their little fight to themselves. Oh. Interesting. So they're just going to leave it very quietly for each other. I guess this was like probably like an end of a season. It feels like an ending of a season. So it's just going to be them walking. I'm just skipping through because literally all it is is flashback keys because it really does feel like that. Okay, alright. I just had to see a little head. Anyway, though, that's it for this episode. Again, I'm probably going to mash these two together. Episode 25 and 6, I believe, is the last one. Yeah, 25 and 26 are going to be mashed together, so you'll see these together. Anyway, though, we got our main characters meeting. Hey, Higgity definitely there. So, I guess we'll see what happens. And the, the Estrays, what are going to happen with all the Estrays? Because there's multiple of them. Are we going to get a, one or two of them that... Join the Archangel when they leave, because eventually they're, they're going to have to leave, so we're going to have to see that. Anyway, though, well, if you're liking these videos and you haven't yet, please hit that like, subscribe, sub subscribe, subscribe, words, and definitely leave a comment. Any and everything helps out. So, again, until the next one, I'm out.